Hi guys and welcome back to another video on how to date. What I'm going to be bringing you is a video where we discuss the fact Dylan Motley Henry has signed a one year deal with the club returning for his second professional spell or third overall spell at the club. Now just before we get into today's video, come and try and smash 40 likes on today's video. That would be much appreciated. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Mission 4K is on. We need just over 50 subscribers now. We're absolutely smashing it. It's the first time in ages since my like, subscriber change has been plus 50 in months and months. We're up to like plus 77 subs for like the past 28 days. So I just want to say thank you all so much for that. I really, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already checked out the first two episodes of City signings so make sure you go check that out for this season but let's get in to the video. So this got announced about four hours ago basically as soon as I woke up it got announced it got announced very early today I just want to apologize about the shirt um, I'm going out for Big Gaz's birthday meal so I just got to get this video recorded just before we have to go out, have to go out. You know, I'm being forced to go out. But Dylan Motley Henry has rejoined the boys. Breaking news, we have completed the signing of Dylan Motley Henry, who spent a one-year deal with the club. He only signed on a short-term deal last season from, like, the end of January to, like, end of May, something like that, and we didn't renew it because I assumed we just couldn't afford his wage, or we didn't want to pay extra wages for no reason. So we've gone back in and signed in now. I'm sure if the whole global pandemic thing didn't happen, we would have just giving him a new deal then and there but he just only made sense for the club financially to not offer him another contract at that time but we've offered him one now we can we can pause that now I'm sure no one really interested in watching the video twice but the article reads Motley Henry back with the Bantams see I've completed the signing of Dylan Motley Hen Henry God, we, we all know how difficult it was for me to pronounce his name and we've all got it we've got to do it again for a whole nother season um, Dylan Motley Henry, Henry has penned a, a one-year deal with the club. The Bantams Academy graduate returns for his third spell at the Utility Energy Stadium after initially being released at the end of the 2019-20 campaign. Like, what the hell am I going to put in the title? Bradford City have signed Dylan Mot Motley Henry on a free after he was re released by Bradford City. It's just, it's just a bit of a, a, a merry-go-round at the moment. Molly Henry, 22, signed a short-term contract in January and went on to make seven appearances prior to the season's curtailment. The former Barnsley man is looking to pick up from where he left on in Claret and Amber. He said it is a great feeling to be back. This period has been very tough and no one really knew what was happening. The supporters are brilliant to me and I get nothing but good vibes from the club. I'm ready to do everything to push on and get as many goals and assists as I can. This is a big club and we, de we, do, we definitely do not deserve to be in League 2. We are going to prove this season that this season push up the table and get promoted. Bantam's boss Stuart McCall is ple pleased to have been able to secure the winger services. He added, we are we're always keen to, hold, to keep hold of Dylan at the end of the last season if we could. So we are delighted to have been able to do so. He is fast he is a fast, skillful lad who is very direct, so fits the way we play really well. His attitude and des desire is spot on, so we are happy to have him in the squad and are looking forward to working with him again this season. Motley Henry signing is subject to rel rel relative EFL and FA clearances. I would definitely say fans are more excited by this side in the world than the world by the Billy Clark signing. As I said, I think it was more like 70% fans were not on board with that signing, 30% fans were on board with that signing. This one, it seems to be, I'd probably say the other way around, you know, it seems like a sensible move. He's a good backup winger um, for when Zelly probably gets injured because that he's very injury prone, he's Zelly Ishmael. But he can come in, he can do a job, you know, he played decent uh, last season, a couple of games. I remember him standing out uh, all the way when he came on and he started the Grimsby at home match. Or, no, he might have come on as a actually and he played very well he set up basically our goal for that game so I think he's a decent little play you know he's not gonna be on too much money so it's not gonna strenuate the the strenuate is that even a word I don't even know what that word means but it's not gonna put too much stress on the club's finances especially if this salary cap thing comes into play but I think it's a, it's a decent little sign and make sure to let me know down in the comments below what are your opinions on the signing I he's 22 it's only a one-year deal you know if he impresses I'm sure but We'll give him like a four year deal. I mean, I know we don't have any rights anymore, but he'll probably get on the phone to step on up and be like, score the goal one time from more than three yards out, give him a four year deal. So for me, overall, I'm happy with the signing. I don't have any complaints about this. It's a sensible one, he's a decent backup winger, and he won't be on too much money. So yeah, that's my opinion on the signing. That, but that is where I'm going to leave today's video. So if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like on it. 40 likes, as I said at the start of the video, would much appreciate. Subscribe if you are new. Mission 4K is on. We're trying to hit that before the end of the football season. So if you could help me get on the road to that, I would ma massively appreciate that. We just need about 50 subscribers in like a week or two. So if we could hit that, I would massively appreciate it. Also, let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Bantams re-signing Dylan Motley Henry for the third time? Thank you, motorbike, and I'll see you all guys in the next video. Peace.
off Gary Boy, da da da. Fuck off Gary Boy, da da da. Fuck off Gary Boy, da da da. Fuck off Gary Boy, da da da.